President Trump has not let the tedious gap between Christmas and New Year go to waste. What none of these goons ever seems to realize is that they are all being played. Donald Trump really does not care about how snarky their comebacks are or how seemingly clever their analogies or how withering their contempt. The more they sneer, the more snotty and aloof it makes them look, and the more out of touch with normal people. What normal people are seeing right now when they look out of their windows is weather so cold that the very last thing on their minds is trying to prevent global warming by raising taxes, increasing regulations, building more bat chomping bird slicing eco crucifixes, and bombing the economy back to the dark ages. And what they are thinking is what the president is thinking we really could use some more of that global warming. But like a lot of cliches, it's a cliche because it's true. People generally do prefer warmer weather to colder weather, which is why they dream of retiring to Florida, San Diego, or Cap Dantib, rather than Chicago or Siberia. Also, all those Trump voters who think it seems to be getting colder and colder at this time of year are right. It's the experts who claim otherwise who are wrong, as Stephen Goddard shows here. The colder it gets the more elaborate and desperate are their excuses as to why global warming doesn't necessarily preclude lots more ice and snow. But nobody's fooled. It's not President Trump's alleged anti-science ignorance and failure to think of the children of the future that's really galling the climate loons. It's the fact that President Trump is right, Trump is right, 